In this video, we're going to be talking about factoring when you have a trinomial without a leading coefficient of 1. So an example of that would be if you had the equation or the expression 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. So our leading coefficient is a 2 here, so it does change the way we have to go through our factoring process. If it was just a 1 in this spot, then we would only need to do the diamond problem. We don't need to do the generic activity. But by having a leading coefficient other than 1, it forces you to have to think differently about just your diamond problem work. And so the way we do that is we take our leading coefficient, 2, and our constant, negative 5, or a and c, if you're thinking about a um, quadratic in standard form. You multiply those by each other, 2 times negative 5 to get negative 10. That's the value that goes in the top part of your diamond problem. Also, that 2x squared term goes in the bottom left, and the negative 5 goes in the top right right away, so you can start with those. The middle term, the b, the 3 here, goes in the bottom of your diamond problem, and you complete your diamond problem by figuring out the two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to 3, which would be 5 and negative 2 in this scenario. Those are the values, or the quantities, that go in the other diagonal of your generic rectangle, so 5x and a negative 2x go in here. And then your work to actually factor this expression is to try to find out what the dimensions are of that generic rectangle. So I can pull a 2x out of 2x squared minus 2x. So this has to be an x in the bottom. That has to be a 5 on the top and a negative 1 down here in order to get a negative 5. Thus, our factors of 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 are 2x plus 5 times x minus 1. So let's look at a couple examples and do a couple more together. So if we have 3x squared minus 4x minus 15, 3x squared goes in the bottom left, negative 15 in the top right, um, right away. Those get multiplied by each other, and you end up with a negative 45 on top. And then the b goes in the bottom, which would be a negative 4. So then you're trying to think of the two numbers that multiply a negative 45 and add up to a negative 4, which would be a negative 9 and a positive 4. 5. Those are what go in the other diagonal, so negative 9x, positive 5x, and then you factor from there. Uh, looks like I cannot pull anything out besides an x here. This must be a 3x then, which makes a negative 3 in order to get a negative 9x. This has to be a positive 5, and that works because 5 times x is 5x, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And your factors are 3x plus 5 and x minus 3. For your second example, starting off with the 4x squared and negative 3, same idea, 4x squared down here, negative 3 on top. That tells us that we have a negative 12 in the top of our diamond problem. Positive 4x, so we put a 4 down here. Two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add up to a positive 4 would be a positive 6 and a negative 2, so you have 6x and negative 2x in your generic rectangle, and then you continue uh, your process by factoring those dimensions. So I have a 2x out here, this has to be a 2x as well, and a negative 1 to make that a negative 2x, this has to be a 3, the whole generic rectangle works, and you end up with 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 1 as your factors. Our final example, we have a little bit different. We have a greatest common factor already factored out. That negative 5y doesn't do anything with this stuff. We just still have to factor out your uh, 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. So as I look at those terms, 2x squared and a negative 12 go in the top. And that means that when you multiply those by each other, that gives you a negative 24. Then you have a negative 5 that goes in the bottom, and two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add up to negative 5 would be a negative 8 and a positive 3. So negative 8x, positive 3x, and you have to find out what your dimensions are by just factoring out from each side. So this has an x, this is a 2x, makes this a negative 4, and this has to be a positive 3 then. And so your final factored version of this expression 
Don't forget your greatest common factor out front, negative 5y first, and then you put your dimensions 2x plus 3 and x minus 4. That will be how you would factor any problem where you have a trinomial, where if it's a quadratic, so you have 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. Thank you.